Hello guys, my name is Scoop and welcome to a new series on this channel. In this series, I am going to be building Afterburn. I'm very excited to present this series because I haven't been building or really looking at any Planet Coaster stuff recently, so I'm excited to get back into it. But anyways, as I was saying, this is Afterburn. This is a coaster that resides at Carowinds in South and North Carolina. It is one of the more intense coasters at the park and one of the best inverts, in my opinion, that is uh, in the world. Or at least out of the ones that I've built or ridden. Not built. I've never built any of these. I wish I'd built some. <laughs> but anyways, um, as I was saying, we are building the layout and smoothing it today. We are going to also do a little bit of support work for the lift hill. And that's really all I'm going to get into in this episode, since it's going to take me a while, as you'll see. There's a lot of deleting and rebuilding of things that I um, could not nail do down quite well as, as, as I wanted to uh, the first go around. So I had to go back and change a little bit. Yeah, but I'm using the 4 meter method for this coaster, as I usually do with all of my coasters that I build. Um, so it'll take a while to get the smoothing down and everything, but once it gets down, hopefully it will be smooth enough to at least my liking. Anyways, um, right now I am working on what is the first vertical loop and uh, what comes next is an Immelman. Um, and it really it's just a matter of, <laughs> I mean, figuring out where that loop is going to be placed. I, I um, am not going to be using the 4 meter rule for... Um, a few of the inversions uh, the loop as you can see and then the corkscrew that is or the flat spin that's at the end of the ride both of those will be just preset just because I I'm getting back into this I don't want to make it too hard on myself uh, just so I don't lose steam and everything and uh, since we're talking about simplicity this layout is actually a lot more simple than you would think um, it's really just a zigzag underneath and back over the uh, lift um, there's uh, one two three four five six inversions on on the coaster you have a loop a vertical loop you have an Immelman you have a zero-g roll a bat wing which is two inversions uh, combined into one it, it kind of if you take a dive loop and tack on uh, an Immelman afterwards that's that's kind of what a bat wing is and then um, you also have a corkscrew or more widely uh, known as a flat spin which is uh, they're basically the same thing there's no difference between the two except one is a little bit more elongated than the other that being said I am using a corkscrew as the predetermined inversion uh, just because you know it's a little easier for me but since this is gonna be just the layout and nothing else as far as the episode goes I am gonna take off for now I will meet back up with you guys at the end of the episode and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy while uh, I put some music on. See ya.
Information Society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society.
Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen.
stings the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense.
Hello guys, I'm back, and um, I hope you have enjoyed this first episode of Afterburn, the invert that I'm working on, and um, if you do enjoy it, I hope you like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and um, if you have any critiques or anything of the sort, please, please let me know and down in the comments below, and now we are going to hop in on a POV of the ride. I hope you enjoy it, and see you next time. Bye.